Yo, what is up guys, Dralos here, back with another Trickmania video, and today I'm finally gonna be releasing my trial map, my ice and plastic trial map. I don't actually know the name yet. You will, you will, I don't know, I'll put the name somewhere when I figure it out. when I figured it out. But for now, we're gonna set the author time. Um, we're gonna try to set like a decent author time, not too difficult, but something that you won't beat on your normal first run, I think. Um, yeah, but anyway, let's get into the map. We're gonna set a new timer now. Um, I'm in the editor mode, because I made the This is the map. Wait, where, where did I fucking spawn? I spawned on the wrong side. Where's my star? No, it's here. Uh, <laughs> Bit of confusion, quick. Okay, this is the map. Wow. Yeah, it's a it's an ice slash plastic trial map with like a bit of dirt and stuff. It's like I don't know some unique tricks I would say, um, and I hope you like them. So yeah, let's just get right into it. Setting the author time. How do you actually do that? Validate the track. No wait, actually before I validate the track, let me quickly compute the shadows. Okay, I probably should have computed the shadows before recording because that took absolutely forever. But anyways, yeah, let's validate this track. I have never validated a track before since this is my very first track. But yeah, let's see if we can nail the tricks that I put in, like in the beginning. Like, what, what do you think is the trick here? Like, there's an ice wall right, maybe you have to like jump into it, do some shenanigans like this. Jump over here. Should I have put a light there? <laughs> now I'm overthinking, my, like second guessing myself. But yeah, like you would probably think like something like an ice wall right or like, I don't know, do something on that plastic beam. But yeah, there's like a special trick that I found. I don't know, I just kind of had the idea from playing a different map, um, which is to take this corner upside down and then do like a upside down kind of thing where you slide on your nose on the plastic which I thought was kind of sick, but it's also a bit hard to get consistent. There I have it. And then you have to jump into this quarter pipe, land backwards, because there's going to be anti-boosters um, facing against you, so you have to be backwards to skip them. And then there's a jump. So let's see if we can get this. Yeah, for the first checkpoint, obviously, um, the time resets every time. But after this, the game is on and we have to get actually good times on the checkpoints. Probably, I probably should have shown you the checkpoints before, but yeah, you're gonna see anyways. Um, yeah, this took a lot of time to build. I'm, I'm very happy with the outcome. Oh, this is a good one. Uh, I, I clipped it, but you can see now. Skip the boosters, then it's platform and a jump. But obviously I don't make it because I clipped the jump. You need quite a lot of speed. It's not ridiculously difficult. You can try it for yourself, but... It's definitely not super easy as well. So yeah, let's see. I have like a little strategy for the beginning to make it more consistent. I mean, you can watch the video and if you don't find it yourself, you can check out the video and see if that helps. But yeah, let me hopefully get this. Also, we got like kind of an autumn vibe today. Got the autumn car. The map is kind of like this, what's it called? Like the, is it dawn? Is it evening dawn or is it morning dawn? I feel like morning is dawn. Is, is there an evening dawn? What is it called, dude? I forgot. Uh, but anyways, it's like the, the nice golden hour, kind of orangish. Also, I have the orange slash reddish light in the background. Yeah, dude, I really hope that people are gonna enjoy this map. If you don't know, this is a trial map. There's like different map types in Trigmania and trial maps are usually ones I like the most because it's like, not about just driving good racing lines and like getting the best time. It's more about having cool tricks and hard checkpoints that you somehow have to finish. You have to figure out how to finish first. First.
and yeah it's like each checkpoint is kind of very difficult so kind of like that more than just grinding for a good time obviously you can grind for a good time here but in the first run through it's usually more about just actually finishing the map and this first checkpoint was already taking me quite a while it's a pretty difficult trick to get down but when you have it it's so satisfying this is this a good no stand oh no and i've never seen this trick before so i think it's pretty cool and unique okay already seven minutes on the first checkpoint so if it's your first time playing and you don't know the setup yet oh this is very good yeah, I think this is it. You need around 240 speed when coming out. I messed it up because I have a fucking mic arm in my way. I can't really see, but I need like, I think I need a different mic arm because this one is just in my side all the time when I'm playing. It's super annoying. I can get it lower, but then um, I'm not close enough to the mic, which is a bit unfortunate. Maybe it's something like that's better. Also, I'm usually a gamer who is who plays like this, like, Phase into the screen uh, to focus, so <laughs> kind of difficult for me to just like play normally. But yeah, the trick was super good. I just messed up the rest. Oh, that's a good one as well. I think it's not enough speed to be honest. Oh, barely, dude. <laughs> you need around like 240, 241, something like that, and then like a cr clean straight line to the checkpoint and eh, not the checkpoint to jump also tip for this one um on the backwards down part um you don't want to slide like if you're too diagonal your car will slide because you have icy tires and you'll lose a lot of speed so this is something just to look out for just to go like kind of clean on that part Dude, also the Trickmania editor is such a pain in the ass like it's so hard to figure out everything and there's so little like good tutorials out there there's some dude but a lot of stuff is so hard to find it took me forever to find out a lot of stuff here um especially making like custom blocks and stuff like this plastic curve thing um but yeah it's i learned a lot making making maps now and it is a lot of fun dude. it's addicting to make maps okay, i kind of need to get this now we're at 10 minutes should be getting it right here should be getting it right here. Should be getting it right here. <laughs> For definitely first time saying that. Forget it. <laughs> I would say the first trick is like one of the harder ones. And I think the last checkpoint is also pretty hard. At least for me. <laughs> I think it's my, it might be easier for some other people because it's about like a difficult ice slide angle kind of. You'll see, you'll see. Yeah, finally. This is the speed we need. Okay, this should be it. There's no way this isn't it. Yeah, this is good. Oh, belly cross. Let's go. This took way longer than I wanted. Uh, setting up for a little bit of speed here to make it over the snow hill. Um, yeah, and checkpoint one. I was about to say checkpoint two, but no, it's checkpoint one. I finally made that. Like, that took way longer than I expected. Yeah, this is checkpoint two. Kind of a similar trick. Uh, maybe you can understand a bit now what's well, actually happening. On the first one, it's the same thing. Um, this one is what people, like what I've seen people do more, like a lot like going to the side and then using ice and plastic combination to like slide across kind of thing to gain speed by crashing the plastic sideways on ice. But on the other one, it was like a vertical version of that. So you crash the wall, go vertically on the plastic as well, and then ice slide across the ice and plastic so it works and for this one you have this trick combined with some ice rails and then you got the snow car to turn around to set up for the next slide across so the snow car is just to get your car in the right direction now this checkpoint is a lot easier than the first one i would say it's a good it's about getting like a clean entry a clean turn in the middle and then like having enough speed for the end part. Also, if you want some a tip on this, okay, Ooh, might might have it. Oh, 
it's a bit too low. You have to go onto that platform. I forgot I can like cam seven. I could literally show you the checkpoints in cam seven. Okay, I'll cam seven it for you. Oh no, where, where in God's name am I? Oh no, I, s I locked my cam seven somehow. Whatever. Oh my God, he's so goddamn cool. Okay, my cam seven works now. So you slide across this, then you turn around using the snow car. Um, get back to stadium car, then you do another slide on this. Look, a little snake, like an ugly snake. Then you use these weird ice jumps sideways to get onto this wall ride. Um, don't get baited by this from the next checkpoint, you, I don't think it can help you. I mean, if you can make it work, maybe. Um, but yeah, you slide across here, or like you get up, then you slide across, get onto this platform and checkpoint. Yeah. I shouldn't like waste time, I'm trying to make a good author time, but um, I want to show you the map as well. Okay, so you get across, go late onto, that's a miss, but you have to go late onto the second one. You also have to watch out that you don't lose grip on the wall ride, it happens so easily. I don't have like a lot of scenery to be honest, I, it, I have a bit more scenery on the later checkpoints, so don't hate me for the lack of scenery. Oh, this is good. Do we make it? Yes. And we're on to checkpoint two. And for this one, you do the dirt flick. I don't know if you know what that is. Through this, which is kind of dank, into the dirt wall, right? Which looks beautiful with the sunset. Sunset, that's what the word is called. I was looking earlier. And then you might think, Oh, do I have to go up here? There's something, like, what is that? No. I placed, um, a little hint. Also, like, you, okay, let me show it to you again. So you go across this ice rail, then you set up for the dirt flick to gain extra speed, jump through this hole onto this platform, go up. Yes, this has an eye too, it's kind of look like, looks like a duck. <laughs> kind of built some animals into this, and then you would first think, bro, oh, maybe go up here, but nope, you jump where the light is, uh, it's a little hint, into the dirt wall right, go down into the quarter pipe, and then you don't jump across here because then you don't make it, you have to jump up here, using this edge to bounce if you don't have enough speed, which you probably don't. So, yeah, let's get this checkpoint. I'd say this checkpoint also isn't too difficult, it's just getting a nice dirt flick and then getting the drop down later. What? Why am I spinning out? That never happens to me. I'm wasting precious time. Nope. God, I'm playing awful today. What is this? <laughs> yeah, I, I really like this checkpoint. It's one of my favorites from, from the map that I built here. Because it just feels so nice with the spin, like the dirt flick spin into this wall ride. Just satisfying as fuck to play every time. And then you jump here, a bit late, honestly. And try not to turn around because then you lose your speed. You have to get a clean landing. This is like the most difficult part of the checkpoint. You might think it's like the dirt flick in the beginning, but honestly, a dirt flick is pretty easy if you know what to do. Um, so yeah, it's more about the second part. Get the bounce. Yeah, this is good. And now jump across, release a bit. Oh, I shouldn't have released. I maybe would have made it without the release. <laughs> the plan is to like bounce on the edge if you release. If you want to try this map, this map is linked in the description. I'm gonna upload it to Trigmania Exchange. Dude, my girlfriend and I went to a skate park we've never been to the other day, like um, just to try a new skate park, also like one that is like kind of in the middle between where we both live because um, we live like an hour 30 apart oh no this is not good and we arrived there and there is a lot of kids two-year-olds three-year-olds just running around like it's a playground i don't get it like why is it always the skate parks imagine like a tennis court or something and you see kids running around whilst people are having a match of tennis you never see that because people would be like nah don't bring your kids on a tennis court to just play around go to a playground but for some reason on skate parks people think it's the normal thing to do just 
to park their kid on the skate park, chill on the side, read a book and just let them run around is first of all dangerous because the kids could get hit by a skateboard or something. Usually it's like too crowded at the park for people to really look out for kids as well. Um, and it's also kind of annoying because like you want to skate and then there's all these kids just running around so you have to really focus on them as well. Wait, do we have it? I think I'm too slow. Yeah, but I don't know. The parents don't understand. But that's beside the point. I mean, I want the kids to enjoy it as well. If they have like, um, if they're small and they have like a skateboard or like, I don't know, anything to ride, it is a bit better. But if they're just running around like, pro, like take your kids to, um, to a play, playground, to a playground. But yeah, so we were there, we were skating a little bit and at some point there was like this, I don't know, like four or five year old girl uh, who came over to us and asked us, asked us if she could use our skateboards for a bit, like try it out. And we said, yeah, why not? Yeah. like try it out so um, she rode around on the skateboard a little bit she asked us if we could hold her hands and stuff because she's a bit scared but she was uh, kind of going for it so it was kind of cute but yeah so we we let her skate for like i don't know like 10 minutes or something but she would not stop and <laughs> at some point we we're like okay we kind of want to skate as well um so we told her like it's like oh one more or something um and then then we want to skate again and every time she would just like not give us the skate. Oh, that's a square. I think this is it. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Release to make it across. That's exactly how I want it. With the little flare, I think it looks so sick. Uh, not. No, 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 no. Ooh. Okay, next checkpoint. Checkpoint three. Okay, let me, before I continue with the story, let me just quickly show you this checkpoint. This is a kind of weird one as well. Let me show you the scenery. Um. The thought was that it kind of looks like um, like a stingray. Uh, anyways, like kind of a stingray shape. Like here, you have the eyes. Um, you have some wings here. I don't know. The stingrays don't have wings, but you know what I mean. Yeah. And then at the end of the checkpoint, you have this funny face. <laughs> don't ask me why. I just felt like it. You have to go here, bounce across the plastic because there's no other way of making then you go back through the checkpoint jump over into this uh ramp do a little ice slide land up here jump over there jump into here and then jump across to the checkpoint this is like a bit of a brain rot checkpoint i'm not even gonna lie you have to double respawn as well and then you literally just bounce into this corner try to get speed to jump over because i can tell you if you don't go into the corner, you won't have enough speed to make the jump. Like if I, this is an anti-booster, like don't, don't get fooled. So if you just go from here, take the speed, I crashed. Okay. If you go from here, you will never have enough, enough speed. It's just about don't make it. And obviously the booster just sends you off. So you have to hit this corner, turn around and then use the speed from the bounce to get across, which is kind of dank, I'm not gonna lie. But also this bounce is a little inconsistent. It's not my favorite checkpoint I built because I do like the idea and stuff, but I wish the bounce was more consistent. Like I don't have to speed here to make it also i got a weird bug here i don't know what happened but yeah i'm not gonna tell you what to do on the bounce to set up you can see my inputs maybe you can figure it out yourself as well it's a head scratcher in the beginning because you have no idea what to do uh, but i placed the light to let you know where to go this is good good speed and then you land here this would be huge if i get it already because sometimes i get stuck on this checkpoint for like 10 minutes as well um i didn't get it <laughs> Smart. Yeah, so continuing on the story of the little girl who wanted to skate. Oh, this is good. This might be it already. I lost a bit of speed and I'm over angling a little bit. Yeah, no, it's not it. But yeah, so she, she kept on grabbing the skateboards from us, but we kept on saying like, ah, oh, bro, dude, we want to skate as well. Give us the board, please. But she was like not listening. And dude, I don't have kids. I don't know what to do with them. Like, what do you do with a child? Like, if they don't listen. I don't even know this child. But, I mean, we tried telling the kid not... Or to give us the boards back. Oh, that's close. Um, but yeah, at some point, we just had to take it from the kid, to be honest. And be like, yeah, no, we're skating now. It's our boards. And we did let it, let 
the child play for a while. Um, but then she kept on following us, like we, <laughs> we went to different spots in the park and she kept on just following us, playing with us. And at this point we were like, at this point we were trying to just skate, you know? And I don't know, I didn't know what to do with, with the kid. Like I didn't want to be rude or anything. I didn't want to like tell them off or like tell them to get away. But also the kid was kind of getting annoying. Um, oh, this is good, maybe. No, I got the sideways. If you go sideways over the over the ramp, you it's kind of annoying. You get like a nose down. Yeah, so we we're driving around. The kid was literally chasing us. <laughs> we couldn't get away. Um, but at some point, luckily, their mother came and like they they went. I can. I'm, I do well with them because they're like family. I don't know. I know them. It's very different, but it's just some s some stranger child. Like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Okay, also this, I think, is it. Oh, don't fall off. Okay, let's go. Okay, you have to go back all the way for speed. That's good. Then, kind of a scary drop down. I hope we don't fail it. That would be kind of annoying. Yes. No, I don't see shit. What's this camera? Get up. No, I think I messed it up. I don't want to do it again. Please, just let me up. Why did I change camera? Why is the camera so I really have to get this now. I Otherwise, I have to restart the run. This good. Good slide as well, please. Okay, drop down again. This time, uh, hopefully, the camera doesn't destroy us. No! Okay, I'm gonna reset the run up. <laughs> I'm just gonna be this guy. I'm gonna reset it, even though you haven't even seen the full map yet. But I'm just gonna show you the finished attempts now, or like the attempts where I actually get stuff. Dude. Oh my god, how did I not make that? Where did I lose the speed? I thought it was it. Oh my god, finally. <laughs> Why did it take even so much longer this time around? Whew. Okay, back to checkpoint one. <laughs> Skip here. Yes, let's go. That's good. No. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god, dude. I thought I was gonna turtle for a second. And then I thought I was gonna roll off. This is like a roller coaster of emotions. Okay, we're back to checkpoint three in six minutes 30. Definitely didn't take me over half an hour to get here. But we're back. Um, and now we got a way more decent author time if I can manage to get this checkpoint now. My my goal is to definitely finish this checkpoint before 15 minutes, that would be nice. But this checkpoint is like too random, like anything can happen, honestly. Okay, don't mess this up. No man. No, dude, I've never, when I, when I played this map, dude, I think I've never messed up this part. And I've messed it up like three times now. What is happening? Come on, under 50 minutes is still possible. Dude, I'm, my head is leaning into the screen so much. Come on, this is it. Yes? Nah, don't you dare. No, how did it turtle on me? Why am I getting trolled by this man? What is happening?
I don't know if this can be enough speed, maybe? Oh my god, please stay. That was the uncleanest line anyone has ever taken. Okay, set up to the edge. It's good enough. Please get this drop down now. If we don't get it now, I just don't know what to do at this point. Okay, this time the camera doesn't troll us. Thank God. Okay, all the way to the edge here. Okay, well, let's get this. If I somehow mess this up, I would just lose it. Thank goodness. I've never messed this up, so... Bam! Let's go! Checkpoint 4. Okay, for this one... A bit of a special one. Okay, let me quickly show you around. But this I'm gonna quickly... You got this wall hack. Into some bounce. Into a... Cool looking... A buck slide. Into a spin. Into this. Then drop down into this. Quarter pipe into quarter pipe, into water, checkpoint, end. I'm just gonna show you what to do because you might think steer to the left, but I found like a special setup that works like every time, pretty much. If you, it's not enough speed. If you do the wall hug and steer to the right the entire way till the end, you actually get the perfect setup for this uh, box slide. But usually I wanna land more in the downhill before in the ramp of the ice but right now i'm not getting that for this park slide this kind of good bit oversteer which could be bad oh, okay i want to try it but this checkpoint ain't too hard i usually get this like second try or something okay 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 oh, i think we we will get this now this is kind of bad so maybe we'll get it next attempt this is like definitely one of the easier checkpoints i think should have it here in a second if if i didn't slide out there i, I would have had it but it's just annoying that little slide out killed it yeah like this yeah and then straighten the car and we should have it release so we don't fall off the edge we did fall off the edge why am i getting trolled today this is never happens to me why is it all like all the bad stuff happens today i don't get it you know it's kind of days where you a little late for the bus and you see it standing at the station and so you start running for it and the bus driver clearly sees you legging it for the bus and you're super close and still the bus driver decides to just let go and drive off looking you in the eyes this is what this feels like right now recently i i was um at the train station oh i think we have it yeah it should be it at least here so we don't fall off this time we're gonna fall off right yeah please Can I what is happening Recently I saw a guy running for the bus and the bus driver literally did see them because they were running from the front So they definitely saw them They still had two minutes till the bus was scheduled to leave and the bus still left The bus driver saw the person running knew they were two minutes early for leaving and he still left like how much of a dickhead do you have to be like? What is wrong with it with the bus drivers, you know? I've never taken this long on this checkpoint. I don't know what's happening. I usually get it like first try, but it's okay if I get it now. Yeah, we finally got it without falling off. Okay, let's just go backwards. I don't want to turn around. Okay, 25 minutes. Okay, for this one, um, if you go normally, there's an anti-booster. Again, you got the snow car saving car. It obviously doesn't work, so you have to turn around. I placed the snow car thing just so you can turn around neatly. Then you do this into this ice slide, jump over, I messed it up. This checkpoint usually takes me a bit longer because I'm just bad at the right ice, ice slide angle. It's not a difficult checkpoint, I just never get the right angle. Or like I slide out or something, it's kind of hard to keep the gear there, but yeah, it's this, and then jump over, 
fucking pray that you somehow get over there. Then you have to turn around one more time, do like a little 360 to take this part backwards. Because there's another anti-booster and then there's a little jump and then you have the checkpoint. I always happens to me on ice. I do like a little brake tap and I always realize I shouldn't have done it. I was saying, oh yeah, one brake tap should be good here. And then I'm like, nah, fuck, I shouldn't have done any brake taps. Dude, sometimes I don't I don't understand why it doesn't turn around. I definitely steered the right way, right? No, I messed it up. And then you jump up here. I'm so curious to see other people play this map. Like, what will they find? What special tricks will I find? I hope people don't shortcut it too crazy. I tried to cut out the biggest shortcut opportunities that I saw. Um, but maybe people will find something, but I hope not. Is this enough? Oh my god, barely. Thank goodness. No. Oh my god. <laughs> almost died because of my checkpoint contraption. I've been recording for almost two hours. One hour 45. I hope I don't run out of storage on my PC because PC is kind of sick. Okay, this checkpoint is also kind of wild. I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's not enough speed. Is you If you go straight here, obviously, you just bounce back. You have to go here, go sideways. Get this weird twisty bounce into the quarter pipe, which is kind of dank, not gonna lie. Then you jump up here, keep the ice light going over here, and up into the water pool. I got that so quick, dude. That usually takes me way longer. Let's go. We got back with some time. Okay, we're at the last checkpoint. I don't know why it says checkpoint zero out of seven at the bottom. I hope this is just AT bucked and we don't get trolled and it doesn't counter something. But yeah, this is. For me, I, I'm kind of the hardest checkpoint is like, um, okay, I'm kind of messing it up. You get like this super thin ice wall ride, so it's a bit of a precise part. You cannot clip over the edge. Um, you got this booster into it. Ice slide across and then do like a spin and then start a new ice slide, but I messed it up. Uh, I, sp I spun too much, but what you want to do is like get the spin there. And then I slide the other way. Which is difficult because you need the right I slide angle to then go up another quarter pound. Pound? I'll show you really quick. You have to, in the end, go up with the I slide angle into this plastic block into the finish. Um, don't try shortcutting it. I blocked the way here. But yeah, I don't think it's shortcutable now. At least not easy. If you go for some insane shortcut, you can have it, bro. At least not like an obvious one. That would be kind of annoying if you could just drop down. Almost didn't see it in the beginning when I built this. Okay, it's good. I just don't know how to get this ice slide without sliding out. You have to keep the speed. Which is a bit annoying because I'm really bad at it. If I get sub 40, 40 hours, I was about to say, if I get sub 40 minutes, I will be happy here. Maybe we can get like a sub 35. This good? Yes? Ooh, let's go. 30 minutes, 50 seconds. We'll take that. I think that's actually a decent time on this map. You can obviously go way faster. Damn, this first one is too insane. You need so much speed here. I barely made it here. Yeah, I don't know. I think the map is fun. Anyways, this is for you. So you saw the map. If you want to play it, it is linked in the description. I have to upload it to Trickmania Exchange now. Yeah, I don't know. Feel free to play and tell me what you think of it. And anyways, if you enjoyed this, I'm going to upload more Trickmania, obviously. Maybe some Rocket League if you want to see that. And yeah. Feel free to subscribe and we'll see each other in the next video. Bye bye.